Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am super excited because we are celebrating the Mad About Skin Sunscreen Awards. Normally, I film this awards season style content towards the end of the year in December, but it feels really weird to be filming sunscreen content in the middle of winter when, whilst you should wear your sunscreen all year round, actually, we should be celebrating the new fantastic formulas available to us in those summer months. Here in the UK, it is roasting hot, and I've got my heavy duty sunscreens on, and I want to share with you what I think are the very best sunscreens screens in each category that I've discovered in 2022. So sit back, relax, let's celebrate the Mad About Skin Sunscreen Awards. Now I've got a lot of different categories to go through in today's video. I think finding the right match when it comes to sunscreens is super important. You need one that meets your individual skin's needs, your budget matches your skin type, and that can be a little bit of a challenge, but when you find your perfect pairing, cling onto it like it's your honestly best friend. I've left timestamps in the description box below to each category, so if you want to navigate to one over the other, don't worry, I won't be offended. Use the timestamps in the description box. It's all there for your convenience. All I ask for in return is that whilst you're down there, you also give this video a big thumbs up and a like. I want to get the message out there that these wonderful sunscreens exist, and the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes it on its platform. So it's a fantastic way of just making sure this message is heard loud and clear. Now, I've got a lot to say, so let's just cut that waffle and get a warning to some of these categories. And I want to start with the best of the best sunscreen of 2022. And this actually is going to be a joint award given to these two products. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Mune 400 and this is the Beauty of Joson Rice Relief Sunscreen. Both of these game changing when I discovered them in the past 12 months and honestly have become true holy grails. I love them for very different reasons. Let's start off with the La Roche-Posay UV Mune. This is a relatively new filter that only just got signed off by the European Union in the past six months and honestly it's game changing. This I would say of all the sunscreens on the market is the one that can truly claim to be the broadest spectrum, protecting you against UVB radiation that burns the skin and UVA radiation that ages us. You really want that locked in broad spectrum protection and this gives you it in bucket loads. It's a little bit up there in terms of price point but I think for the formulation, the uniqueness of the filters you're getting in here and that broad spectrum coverage, honestly, it's worth every last penny. It glides onto the skin, it feels gorgeous and if you want to see it in action, I covered this in a recent shorts video which I'll link up there, definitely one to check out. I think this could be a fantastic sunscreen for just about everyone, though some people with very oily acne prone skin types say it could exacerbate breakout so I will just call that out but I have that skin type and I had no problems whatsoever with this. However, I think another truly universal sunscreen that I adore is this. This is the beauty of Joson Rice Relief. The reason that I'm awarding two winners, like joint winners in the best in class category, is because honestly, I couldn't choose between the two of them. This, so beautiful. It glides onto the skin, leaving that truly invisible finish. No white cast, no ashiness, no tackiness or weight to the skin. It's just so, so perfect. I think it would be really, really difficult for any brand to top this product in 2023, but you know what? I live in hope, and we're going to keep scouring the sunscreen world and bringing you the up-to-date reviews. If you see how that goes onto the skin, it's honestly just like a super lightweight moisturizer. Leaves behind a beautiful veil of hydration, but this has been tried and independently tested in two labs to prove that it's given that SPF 50 plus coverage. Such, such a nice finish on the skin, some hydration to boot, and I would say, if you're looking to choose between the two of these, go for the Roche Posay on those heavy duty days where you have super high UVA exposure and you need something really heavy duty to counter that. For those day to day sunscreens when you want that locked in protection, but super lightweight, elegant feeling on the skin, the beauty of Joe Sun will got you covered. Now, the next category, let's come on to all day sunscreens. Now, this might seem a little bit, you know, we're always told to reapply, reapply, reapply when it comes to sunscreens, and whilst I would definitely recommend you do that. It's not going to match everyone's lifestyles. We have to be realistic. You know, people are running errands all day, they're busy with their work. Maybe reapplication just isn't going to work out for you guys. And I think it's really important to acknowledge that that is the case for a lot of us. Fortunately, there are sunscreens which have eight hour protection. This is really great because honestly, it means you can put it on in the morning, go about your day, and you don't have to reapply it the same frequency that you would a normal style sunscreen. This style of product is really increasing in hype 
and availability and I'm all for that because I'm definitely guilty of not reapplying enough during the day so if I can apply a product in the morning that gives me eight hours protection I'm all for that and the two that are winning this long lasting sunscreen award are these two we have the Sultan face eight hour protect and we have the Ryman's P20 kids SPF 50 plus both of these stunning and the reason I'm giving them joint awards is this one is only available in the UK and Europe this product is available internationally so it's nice that you know there's accessibility to these style of products no matter where you live the technology used in this style of product is actually to give longer lasting protection through stable UV filters. These tend to be the newer generation filters that don't break down the way that some of the older style ones do. So you don't need to reapply every two hours in the traditional sense that you would. One thing I would definitely call out if you're using this style of product is make sure you use two thinner layers of application rather than one thick layer. This means that you're not missing any spots because one of the main reasons brands recommend reapplication is because we never apply enough and we always miss certain spots of skin. Two thinner applications rather than one thick one will kind of guarantee that you're covering the whole surface that's exposed and not missing any areas. The Sultan one, amazing. It's like eight pounds here in the UK. So it's drugstore, it's affordable and I love it. It combines unique UV technology alongside some really nice hydrating ingredients to give you a really nice finish on the skin. It was thanks to Cyril Laurent, who is one of my favourite content creators here on YouTube, that I discovered the P20 Kids. Whilst it's badged as a kid's sunscreen, honestly, if, you're, if it's good enough to use on your kids, it definitely deserves to be on your face too. This is a beautiful product. I'd say slightly more lightweight than the Sultan one, but gives a beautiful finish to the skin. These longer wear sunscreens do always have a slightly heavier feel to them than some of the ones that you reapply during the day, such as that Beauty of Joseph one. So I will say bear that one in mind, but this one sinks in without a trace gives you that guaranteed locked in long lasting protection and you know what I'm living for that and I hope there's gonna be more choice in this category in the future and I'll be experimenting with them for sure. Now let's come to one of my favourite categories in skincare, the drugstore favourites. Honestly, I am so ridiculously cheap. My motto is why would I be paying bougie and luxury prices when I can get the exact same thing at the drugstore? My hard earned coin is mine to spend and I don't want brands taking advantage of that, offering nothing more than maybe just a little added fragrance to set it apart from its drugstore rivals. I think sunscreen should never be a luxury, which is why I'm always happy to applaud good, high quality, broad spectrum drugstore sunscreens. And in this category, I want to award two because honestly, I think this is the category that is the most important of all of them. And it's these two brands. We've got Alterist Sunscreen, which you guys know I absolutely fangirl about all the time. For rock bottom prices, you get super high UVA and UVB coverage. And honestly, when the brand like this is offering that for like five or six pounds, why would we go anywhere else? I also want to call out this product, which is the PS Futures Bright Watermelon Sunscreen, which is a fabulous dupe for that terrible, terrible Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Sunscreen that bald, pilled up. You get the same sensorial experience with this. Very similar ingredient profile, but better UV filters. And honestly, it doesn't peel, it doesn't peel, it doesn't doesn't sting the eyes, just all around a better product. This was available at Primark for four pounds. That beautiful price is why I would definitely say if you can access a Primark, pop one of these in your basket, your skin will love it. Globally available are the Ultra sunscreens, which are much more accessible, and I love that because I think good quality and affordable sunscreens should be available to all. Ultras are also fantastic for donating quite a lot of their profits to charity to support um, people suffering with albinism in Africa, which must be such a difficult thing to manage with the intense UV radiation and the lack of pigment in the skin. So I think a brand that wants to support a charity that's really aligned to its own ethos and the products it creates, honestly, has my heart from the start. Not only that though, these products are really, really good. My favourite is the face fluid, which I'd say is the most expensive of all of them, but glides onto the skin, doesn't break you out, doesn't irritate the eyes, and it's just a really, really nice budget sunscreen. They do an all over body one, which is this dermatologist sunscreen SPF 30. Great if you want that total body coverage, because this is only five pounds, so super affordable. And they also do a spray in an SPF 50. I'd say, you know, this is my least favorite, because I don't really like spray sunscreens. I find, you know, you're spraying the person on the sun lounger behind you, or the environment around you, and get very little of it on your skin. I also think that application can be a bit patchy, but if you're chasing your kids around a beach and you want a really, really convenient spray, this is the one that I'd get. Ultrist, 
so, so amazing. And I covered a rundown in more depth of all their products in a video, which I'll link up there. Definitely to check out. But these two, the PS Futures Bright and Ultras, are definitely deserved winners of the best drugstore sunscreens. Now, the opposite to drugstore is, of course, a luxury, bougie, and high-end. And I do want to award one sunscreen that I think is worth maybe spending a little extra to get a little extra in the luxury sunscreen category. I don't want anyone overpaying for their sunscreen to the point where they're scared to apply it or they put the minimal amount on there to extend the lifespan of the product because you're avoiding repurchasing it. That's not the right way to approach sunscreen. But if you want to pay a lot more to get a little more, the winner in this category is the Dr. Sam's Flawless Daily Sunscreen. I love this. This is one of the first truly mineral sunscreens that I'm mentioning in today's video. So if you want a really good mineral sunscreen, this is one that I'd recommend. Though I do have some cheaper alternatives following on. Such a nice sunscreen. The way that it applies is, I'd say fairly unique for mineral sunscreens, is that it doesn't leave too heavy a white cast. Now, this is on my relatively fair skin tone. I think if you have a deep at darker and richer skin tone, this could be a little bit problematic um, and you might get some ashiness of white cast. So I do want to call that out. But on my skin, it just leaves that beautiful finish. And the reason why I say it's worth paying a little extra to get a little extra is this doesn't dry down completely matte like a lot of mineral sunscreens that almost leave you feeling crusty and dry. No time for that in our lives. This hydrates alongside giving that tried, tested and independently verified sun protection. Just a really, really nice product with a really nice, almost dewy finish, which is pretty rare for a mineral sunscreen. Now, we're in the home straight, but we have some really key categories that I want to call out. Let's first celebrate the best sunscreen for acne-prone skin. This is my skin type, and trust me, I've struggled over the years to find a product that doesn't break me out, exacerbate blackheads, congest the skin. It got to the point where, actually, I was thinking of giving up on sunscreen altogether, because just, I could never find one that didn't exacerbate my acne. You should never, never do that. And I'm glad that I fought through, because I found some really great recommendations. Pretty much none of the ones in today's video are going to break you at the bank or clog the skin. So it's kind of like a winner winner, ding, ding, ding. However, the one true holy grail for me when it comes to acne prone skin and sunscreen is this. This is the Acne Side Daily Moisturizer SPF. This does it all. It's actually got beneficial ingredients that are going to reduce the risk of any breakouts alongside not just exacerbating them. It gives a really good coverage of an SPF of 30 with high UVA protection too. It's super lightweight. It's not greasy, but it doesn't strip and dry the skin like some other acne SPFs can. There's no like drying alcohols in here, which honestly, even on my super oily acne prone skin, I don't want too much alcohol in my life because it just leaves me feeling stripped, dried and tight. There's no time for that. This is just a really nice balanced sunscreen that I think will work really well as a sunscreen and moisturizer hybrid for anyone that has oily and acne prone skin. It's not a brand that I have much experience with but when I picked this up and tried it it was like a revelation and I'm happy to award acne side as the best sunscreen for acne prone skin. If you have the opposite like a super super dry skin type what are you going to do? Well there are a lot of products that now offer sun protection and moisturizers kind of in a duo and I covered some of my favorites in a recent video which I'm going to leave a link to up there. You might want to double down and add a moisturizer alongside these as well but I think finding a really nice high protection but also moisturizing sunscreen will be game changing for your dry skin and the winner for me that I'm glad to say is universally available is this product. This is the simple triple protect moisturizer SPF 30. Beautiful range of different UV filters in here which give you that broad spectrum coverage. It hydrates you to the gods. It doesn't pill and peel if you want to use another moisturizer alongside it. It's just all around a really, really gorgeous product. It's quite lightweight. I find a lot of, traditionally, the more moisturizing a sunscreen was, the heavier it was on the skin. We don't want that feeling. This, super lightweight, but meaningfully hydrating, which is why I absolutely love it. In winter, this is actually my go-to, because my skin, even though it's super oily in summer, can get a little dryness prone in winter, and I'll switch it up to this one. Hydrates, protects, who doesn't want that in their life? And I'm glad to say that Simple are the winner of the best sunscreen for drier skin types. Now, my final two categories are for the best tinted sunscreen and the best vegan sunscreen. Let's talk for the best tinted first, and it goes to this product, hands down, no competition. This is the Bliss Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30, and available here in the UK and Europe, in Australasia, and also in the North American market too. So truly global and accessible. Bliss knocked it out of the park with this formulation. They actually did a lot of sponsorship and like deals with content creators to promote this product this year, which I think is a shame because a lot of people think this is, this is so popular because influence has been bought. It hasn't. They never reached out to me. I bought this with my own hard earned coin and fell in love with it. And in a way, I kind of just wish that Bliss had let like that word of mouth speak for the product itself. Don't, you know, read into the number of sponsor reviews on this and think, no, this is just one of those overhyped products. It's not. It genuinely delivers. And the tint on this, for my skin tone and anything around 
around this is sheer perfection. Now I'm going to apply this to the skin and you'll see it's 100% mineral sunscreen which usually would leave a quite a noticeable white cast but it's tinted and just blends straight in. You also get a little bit of coverage with this as well so it almost acts like a BB cream and sun cream in one. What's not to love about that? It smells divine and it's just all around like one of my favorite favorite sunscreens if i want to wear zero concealer zero foundation but i want to cheat a good skin day this is the one that i use protection and a nice level of coverage with the perfect tint you see how that applies to the skin it's just so gorgeous it leaves like a satin velvety velvety finish and i would definitely definitely recommend it now this isn't going to work for all skin types i'm very aware of that and i'm going to do a separate video coming later this month on the very best sunscreens for deeper dark and richer skin tones because i think it's really important that we you know we show content that reflects the full diversity and beautifulness of the range of skin tones out there so look out for that video later this month this will definitely work for my skin tone or around it but deeper darker di richer skin tones i've got some great great recommendations but i didn't want to just shoehorn them into this video i wanted a separate piece of content so we can kind of do it all justice finally i want to call out my favorite vegan sunscreen which is a relative new discovery this one the claire's all day airy sunscreen gorgeous applies beautifully to the skin vegan formulation and gives you tried tested protection because this has been through verification at two different labs so you know you're getting that broad spectrum coverage with the spf of 50 plus in a vegan formulation i also love the hygiene um, vegan sunscreen as well which I'll link below as will all the products in today's video so you've got a little bit of choice in the market but this I really really like the finish on it how it hydrated alongside protected and vegan what's not to love Anyway, so there you have it guys, the Sunscreen Awards of 2022. Leave me any of your favourite recommendations below and wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care, bye.